my name is Bearded Dragon and welcome to Mortal Kombat XL. This is chapter number 7 which is all about Takeda. Your wife told me I'd find you in here. You and Vera have a nice chat? Always. Is that a national? I haven't seen one you this... You didn't come here to discuss bomb implements. All right. I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. My help? I know. I don't have any right you to... You knew what I wanted. Jackie volunteered. She came to me. I know. Listen. I get why you didn't want Jackie joining SF. Why you retired. I mean, if I had to live with memories of being one of Quan Chi's thugs, I would have eaten a gun a long time ago. Well, you know Vera. She never would have allowed that. So what is it you need help with? The outworld refugees? Worse. Shinnok's amulet. Melina has it. Damn. And we've gotten word from Serena that Quan Chi has resurfaced in the Nether Realm. He shows his face after 25 years, just as Shinnok's amulet is in play. That's not a coincidence. That's why I need you. Your Quan Chi expertise. We wouldn't reactivate your commission. You'd be an observer. Cage. Jax. What is it? Just wanted to see if maybe... You could help close the cell? <laughs> yeah, because that worked out so well last time. Can't blame a guy for trying. We need you, Jax. Help me capture Quan Chi. None of us is safe if he gets near that amulet. So where's Jackie in all of this? Outworld. With Cassie's team recovering the amulet. She'll be fine. We expect to hear mission accomplished from them soon. Not quite how it's panning out. They've been captured. So what you guys think? Are they gonna kill us? They would have done it by now. Unless Kotal Khan's planning on having us as guests at the Coliseum. Well, if they don't kill us, my mother will. Me, at least. That's true. Tough being the general's daughter. <sighs> you have no idea. I do. My great whatever grandfather took down Shang Tsung, saved Earthrealm. How often do you think that comes up at family gatherings? That was 600 years ago. And yet, you'd think it happened yesterday. <laughs> no pressure there. I've trained all my life. Can fight my way out of nearly anything. But I still feel like a second-rate cage. <laughs> At least you grew up with people expecting things from you. I thought you and your dad were best friends. <laughs> now? He was a no-show for a long time. I can relate. What was that like growing up? Having an ex-revenant father? Jin. No, I'm asking. Couldn't have been easy. He was just a bit overprotective. When I joined SF, Mr. Cage insisted on being the one to tell my dad. He thought it'd go smoother. <laughs> I'll never forget that day. My dad came home with a broken jaw. <laughs> You've got what exactly? Trust me. Away from the bars. They're getting a bread roll or something. Now 
that's cool. How'd you do that? I overloaded his senses. It only works at short range. Being the son of a telepath has its perks. I didn't used to think so. Hmm. Now you do, I guess. Here we go, chapter seven. Takahashi Takeda. Five years ago. Oh, that's right, he's no longer a Revenant, is he? Sonya Blade and Raiden saved him. <laughs> so Takeda is trained by the Shirai Ryu. Yield. Well done. You are now Chujin. You honor me, Master Hisashi. Now that I'm Chujin, how will I serve the clan? Your future does not lie with the Shirai Ryu. But the clan's my family. When I took you in, I promised your father. I don't have a father. Yes, you do. Nope. One who's proud of you. But you he is. Record time. You knew he was coming? You said nothing? Knowing this would be your reaction, yes. Takeda, your father is not your enemy. Ten years. No visits. Nothing. You abandoned me. I did not abandon you. I was eight. My mother had just died. Now you come back? Think you can jump right in as a proud dad? Son, I... To hell with you. I am not your son. Here we go. First fight against Kenshi. Great. Oh, man. This is... This is a whitewash. Oh, there we go, I finally heard him. And Kenshi has some good attacks. There's some very good attacks. Yeah, that is one thing with Takeda's X-ray. You gotta jump for it to work. Which has the advantage that it could be pretty hard to block. That x-ray allowed me to win, but I don't have one now, so I don't know how this is going to go. Well, that was devastating. And this one's a white wash though, and not in my favour. I have lost that by a lot. And for a fight between a father and son, he is going hard. Should have this one now. Nope. Walk straight into that. Got him. Now 
get up. I want to knock you down again. <laughs> Takeda, cease! Kenshi did not abandon you. He brought you here for your protection. Protection from what? From those who murdered your mother. She... She died in an accident. That is the story I asked Master Hasashi to tell you. But in truth, your mother was killed by Red Dragon assassins. I was the target. Su Chin was the victim. Son of a bitch! It was your fault! Your father has devoted his life to fighting animals like the Red Dragon. It is they who are without honor. You shouldn't have hidden the truth. You would have gone after your mother's killers unprepared. I could not risk that. Master Hasashi has perfected your fighting skills. Now it is time to complete your training. How, how did you do that? We are telepaths, a family gift. I can read minds? Through training, we will determine your full abilities. And then we will hunt down the Red Dragon. Together. Oh, that was cool. So, we're back in prison time. This is Devorah's work. No argument there. Only she could create wounds like these. The Devorah is full of surprises. Question is, is she working with anyone else? What is it? Damn, he's made us. Okay, guys, standard diamond formation. Takeda, you're on point. Jackie, bring up the rear. Kung Jin, air cover. You got it. The Earth Realmers. Devora freed them. <laughs> Not a gasu. Oh, reptile. Remember, he's a telepath. You can probably pick up where he is. The other one that's normally used is cannon fodder. Reptile. Oh, oh. Yeah. I don't think I'll quite kill him, but get him. But it should do pretty well. <laughs> yeah, he's a good looking x ray. Oh man, I could still lose this though. There we go. Takeda wins. I don't know what that green mode does. I think it slows me down and speeds him up. Oh, I am losing this one by a lot. Oh, I love that move. That move's a good one. Oh, here we go again. And Reptile wins. 
Alright. X-ray. <laughs> oh, I lost it. I can't believe it. It can be blocked. Oh, that was wrong. Still being a jump move, I could do it. I think when in the green, green mode, I definitely will have a struggle hitting him. It dramatically slows me down. Oh, here we go again. This is a lot closer than I like. Uh, I thought that would have got him. Oh, oh no. Oh, got him. Got him in the end. One down, two to go. Who's next? Aaron Black. Ooh. When we get back, you're teaching me that. Deal. <laughs> you need a whip. Thermac. I got this. Think you can handle me alone? You're either brave or foolish. I'll go with brave. I was trained by Scorpion himself. Gun is the best offense. Oop, standing on his tacks. <laughs> yeah. That last one there, that's really got hurt. Wow, that hurt to watch. Cave his face in. Yeah, this is an easy one. So far. Yeah, there we go. Takeda wins. Ooh. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> that truly is an execution. Oh, there we go. Finally, I hit him. Yeah, walked into that one. I don't think I've ever seen him use a sword before. He just broke it in my chest. Oh, that's an execution too. Oh, yep, Aaron Black wins. Ah, oh, I missed. Got my dog in the background going off at the cat. On this, they've got him. One good uppercut always changes the match. I'm alive. So what? Uh, Air Mac now. Ooh. Let's see what's worth learning in there. <laughs> this could be risky. So many mines. Inside. We exist to serve, bound by Shao Kahn's magic. Chaos. The voices. We are many. You are one. Your abilities fail before us. Oh, that was a bit of a weak first hit. Did he got it though? Um, does that do anything? Oh. Yeah, I think Ermac's mind could be hard to read because they're 
got like 3,000 souls inside his one body. into the ground. It looked like it went head first. Oh, he'd break it. Oh, I'm really not doing very well. Her Mac is too strong. Nope. I think this is my last fight. This is fight number four. I just gotta try and win it. <laughs> a bit of a smart aleck way of talking. Ah, oh, straight over the top of him. Well, he didn't break it this time. than the others were. I am really <laughs> I'm struggling against Ermac at the moment. Oh, wow, this is one of the hardest fights I've fought for a long time. When Ermac grabs you like that, he actually gets health back. I got him. Challenge would be nice. Thought you were quicker than that. I thought that was a challenge. I think I've had enough of Outworld. I'm starting to get why my dad retired. We have to find Devora. Get the amulet. Let's go. It won't be out long. Devora. And the Earth Realmers? She stole the amulet, then helped them escape. She betrayed us to the Thunder God. Wrong God. You wound me, Devora. Prepare the legions. We go to Earth Realm. Oh, great. We will wrest back the amulet from that devil Raiden. I didn't even have it. We're all in one piece. No one seems to be tailing us. Have you been able to determine where Devora was headed? We think she's headed for the Sea of Blood. Damn. Dad? She's coming here to Quan Chi. There's a secret portal near the Sea of Blood. Quan Chi had it built when we were getting ready to invade Outworld. Great. Dad, what are you doing? Why are you in the Nether Realm? Well, now we're being overprotected. Oh, well, thanks for watching Chapter 7, and I hope to see you again later. So, goodbye.